Okay, today's video is actually based on the question that most of you out there have, and that is, why am I not being shortlisted for any positions? Or why have I not been called for an interview? It's been more than a week. Or why is, am I not that appealing when it comes to certain positions? This goes through each of us as candidates that are applying for positions. We all have this in the back of our minds is why are you not good enough for the position? And, and that's not necessarily it. The reason why most of um, candidates are not shortlisted for positions, uh, firstly, the most vital imp and important aspect, we have made a video based on this solely or directly, is with regards to your CV. You need to understand that your CV is your first point of contact with your recruiter. If you send through a CV that has not been updated correctly, has invalid information, or outdated information, meaning that your address has changed, your contact details have changed, or anything on there is invalid, that CV cannot help you in getting the position that you are applying for. So when you do, before you apply for every position, ensure that your CV is up to date. Everything is in order, your contact information, etc., everything is there. Secondly, ensure that your CV is relating to the position that you're applying for. So, for example, if you are applying for a, an, an administrative clerk position, it needs to be focused in that direction. You cannot have a, a CV that's focused on project management or engineering, etc., but you're applying for an administrative post. That does not make sense because you might not be shortlisted because the experience is not matching what they, the criteria that your recruiter is looking for and what you have on your CV. So ensure that your CV relates to the position you're applying for. Also another vital aspect is do market research on the position before you apply for the position. Make sure you know the company background, the company history, what the company is about, what the company does. Etc. You need to know what this company does before you apply for the position. So you know exactly what, what you're heading for and what you're getting yourself into. And the most important aspect of it all, guys, is the appearance of your CV. Do not send a scanned copy that's been copied three or four times because it comes through very comes through not clear at all, where your recruiter has difficulty in reading it. That already right there is, is, is a negative on you. Um, ensure that it is attractive, it's got all your vital points, whether it be your attributes, your competencies, your skills, uh, your strengths, etc. All experience needs to be listed, exactly what you do in that position and what you've learned from the position, any achievements, that all needs to be stated on the CV, it is very important. Try and use different colours to attract your recruiter. A black and white CV is quite ordinary, but you could make it look attractive in certain instances. Not boring, but attractive. What happens is recruiters go through CVs, thousands of CVs on a daily basis. For them to pay attention to a CV, it needs to be appealing. And by doing so, you are guaranteeing yourself a shortlisting for that position. Second, when you go for your interview, try and be as confident as possible. Not overconfident, but confident enough to get the position. When you walk into that interview, feel relax, make yourself comfortable in the environment, try and find a, a, a peace of mind or a mindset where you can control the interview yourself, where you do not feel like you are being over, over exasperated, etc. So try and control the interview in the direction that you want to go in. Try and answer every question that's been asked of you, um, whether it be a, a one sentence, try and answer every single sentence, every single question to the best of your ability. Also guys, very important, try and be as open and honest as possible. You don't need to be honest about your home environment, etc. When it comes to honesty, meaning what 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 has happened in your life or in your life experience that could affect you in getting this position. So do not hide anything back. Try and be as open about everything as possible. Anything that might hinder you in getting this position might be found out at a later stage. So it's better that you bring it forth beforehand. This will also show that you have honesty because bearing in mind all checks are done on candidates before they are given the position. So if there's something that you feel is relevant 
or might impact you in the long term, rather notify your recruiter in the interview so, so they are aware or they can and they can advise you of the steps forward or what measurements need to be taken in order for you to still have a possible chance of being shortlisted. Okay, um, lots of candidates hide certain things in their interview hoping that a recruiter will never find out or that it might not impact them in the long term or they will still be shortlisted or will be overlooked. This is not the case. Checks are done thoroughly on every candidate and this could be the main reason that you are not being shortlisted for positions as well. Okay. Also, the main question um, that a lot of us do struggle with is when it comes to strengths and weaknesses, etc. You can bring out personal strengths and speak about that, or you can talk about professional strengths, what examples in the work environment. Um, try and relate every question that's been asked. Try and relate it to an experience that you've had in your life, because then it will be much easier to answer because you have exper personally experienced it yourself. So try and also use that um, when it comes to the interview process. Okay, be very well prepared and well dressed, as appearance is also vital is of vital importance. Um, when you walk through that door, ensure that you walk with the with the posture, a composure, etc., um, and ensure that you are neat and tidy, and uh, that you have all the relevant information that is required of you. Um, ensure that you do take along. Your, your ID document or your driver's license, etc., as that may, they might request for that. Uh, just ensure that you have your, a copy of your CV as well with you, because not necessarily will they have the CV online. It's something that also that you, you could just have a copy of with you as well. Uh, so guys, please prepare yourselves extremely well for your interview. Also, ensure that your CV is up to date and up to standard for the position you are applying for. That is your first appearance and your first step in the door. And you have all the control over that. What happens from there is up to the recruiter. But if you know that you have done your 100% best in preparing yourself for that interview, then you will be guaranteed a shortlisting. Don't take it for granted that a recruiter will overlook aspects because that is not necessarily the case. Every client and candidate has that question, why are they not being shortlisted for positions? And guys, majority of the time is because you've either left out something on your CV, you are, your CV is not relevant to the position you are applying for, or you have been in some way dishonest when it comes to the questions that have been asked or um, with regards to anything that's relevant to this position. Um, so guys, take a step back before you put through your application ensure that your CV is relevant for the position that you're applying for. I do hope this video was, was helpful. We will be uploading another video shortly with regards to the exact same thing in how to make the interview process much more simpler for you or giving you tips and ideas on how to get you ready. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe to this channel because that's the only way that you will be getting our notifications um, or you'll be getting our updates and videos, etc. So please subscribe. Um, so you'll ensure that you will receive the next video that comes through. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.